On October 3rd, 1967, Major Pete Knight launched from the B-52, lit his engine, and began to climb, consuming its propellants at a rate of 12,000 pounds per minute. The big engine drained the external tanks in just 67 seconds. And accelerating upward through 70,000 feet at Mach 2, Knight felt a sharp bump as they were jettisoned. Coming level at about 100,000 feet, he flew a perfect profile to a speed of Mach 6.7, 4,520 miles per hour. Flying at a speed more than twice that of a 50 caliber bullet, he was unaware of the ordeal endured by his craft. The thermal protection coating had failed as temperatures exceeded 3,000 degrees, and a dummy ramjet attached to the ventral tail had literally burned off leaving a hole through which torch-like air was channeled in the X-15's tail section, where it burned out pressurization lines and electrical wiring that prevented him from jettisoning his propellants and lowering his landing flaps. By dint of exceptional piloting skill, he managed to bring the stricken airplane in for a safe landing. Charred by its wild ride through a hypersonic inferno, the X-15A2 would never fly again. And Pete Knight's record still remains the highest speed at which any man has ever flown in an airplane.